Well, this is the start of yet another week where students are learning from home. And in Baltimore City, the district said it would start handing out computers today to students who don't have one. WJZ's live Ava Joy Burnett tells us who will have priority to get one of those computers and why. Ava Joy? Well, hi, Denise. Doing online learning could be a little bit tough, especially if you don't have access to the Internet or to a computer. And that's why the CEO of schools here said they're going to start handing out, handing out about 15,000 Chromebooks to students. But juniors and seniors, they're going to have the priority, especially as the seniors get ready to graduate. This is the start of week number five, where school buildings are sitting empty. No instructions here. Instead, the learning is shifted online. In Baltimore City, where half of the students are classified as low income, some don't have access to computers. And that's why the district is hustling to distribute about 15,000 Chromebooks to students. Priority will be given to our high school juniors and seniors. We are ordering additional Chromebooks and other devices wherever they are available. It's a race to get supplies as districts across the state try to effectively teach their students online. And so now that the coronavirus is wreaking havoc on our communities and on our schools, it is critically important that we not leave our children behind. Monday night, Councilman Z. Cohen will introduce a resolution that could help provide more money to buy more computers. He hopes the money will come sooner rather than later. As schools are out, right now and really for the foreseeable future, I mean possibly even into next school year, we need to make sure that every single child in Baltimore has access to online learning so that they are able to continue their education. And once again, the priority will be going to juniors and seniors because there are 80,000 students in this district. It's really hard to get computers for everyone who may need it. And Councilman Zeke Cohen says he does have the support from other leaders in the city to get additional funding to buy more computers. Live at 5, Avajoy Burnett for WJZ.